guys, it's Kendra. So today I filmed a makeup tutorial for you guys and it was on the Morphe 3502 palette. I'm long overdue getting this palette, but Kelsey and I actually found this palette in Ulta recently and I completely forgot that Morphe was sold in Ulta. So if you have an Ulta near you, you might want to go check them out if you're looking for Morphe products. So we saw the Morphe 3502 palette in there and I was like, Kelsey, we need to get this right now. It was two left, so we ended up getting the last two. And this palette is gorgeous. It's literally like a whole nother level compared to the 350 palette, which I do have here. And I did like show you guys what they look like in comparison in the video. But it's just a bomb palette. It's so, so pretty. It has the most gorgeous warm tones in it. Like this is a neutral reddish brown girl's dream like any girl that loves like those tones and eyeshadows will be obsessed with this palette this makeup look is the exact same look that i was wearing in the february favorites because a lot of you guys were requesting this makeup look and it just so happens that i use this palette for morphe so i wanted to do it for you guys one because you requested it and two i really wanted to film with this palette anyway so it kind of worked out and i also used a lot of my february favorites that were mentioned in that video so all the makeup products that were in that favorites video, I just so happened to use in this video. If you guys want to see how I came up with this look and, you know, everything come together, this beat, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to mainly focus on the eyes for this tutorial, but I already applied my foundation. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, and it has SPF 15 in it. This is the foundation that was in our recent February favorites, of course, so I've been loving this. And I did prime with this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So I really love this product. It really smooths the skin out. And it's good for oily skin too. You just need to apply it a little bit less than dry skin people, of course. But I really love this. Okay, so moving on to the actual Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 3502. That is the color guide sliding out. So this does come with the actual names of the colors, which I appreciate because it's going to make this so much easier to let you guys know what I'm using. And Morphe did change like their exterior packaging as well, which I do like this more sleek, minimal look. This is what the old packaging looks like on the outside. This is the Morphe 350. So these are the two palettes. This is the Morphe 3502 and this is the Morphe 350. This came out first, of course, and just to show you guys the difference in them. Looking at them, the 3502 is a lot warmer. It has like some more brighter oranges in there, some more sunsetty colors, and this is just a more neutral palette. It has obviously some warm tones in it, but it does have some cool tones in it as well. When I compared the two, I used to think this was a all warm palette until I saw this and I was like, wait a minute, that does have some cool colors in it. So, of course, I still love the original 350, but this is like on another level of gorgeousness. I'm obsessed with this palette. We saw the palette in Ulta and I was like, wait a minute, they sell Morphe at Ulta and I had just remembered when Jacqueline came out with her palette, Jacqueline Hill came out with her palette, which I do have. I love that palette. Um, she did say that it was going to be sold in Ulta, but I didn't realize that all the other Morphe products were going to be sold there. And we were just walking by. It was right before we walked to the checkout line and I was like, wait a minute, is that, is that Morphe? And I looked on the back and I turned the palette around and I realized it was the 3502 because I had been wanting to order it for a while and I just never got around to doing it and it was sold out for a while so I just didn't even bother. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden by the way. Um, I'm not exactly sure about the price but all the products in the video will be linked down below of course like always but it wasn't very expensive obviously because it's Morphe and Morphe is known for being affordable and you know pretty good quality. This is my second time using this palette. The first time was when um, I did my makeup for that February Favorites video and I just fell in love as soon as I started using the palette. So the shades in the 3502 are a little bit more pigmented than the original 350 palette. And Morphe already has really good like quality shadows, but like I said, this one is just on another level. It feels a tad bit more high end, although the other Morphe palettes aren't like, they're not cheaply made of course, they're really good palettes, but this one just feels a lot more buttery. So the first color I'm gonna be taking is this one right here and it's called Brick. Start blending that on the outer corner and 
slowly sweeping it inward. I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in forever, so hopefully I'm not rusty. Obviously I'm not rusty at doing my own makeup, but in front of the camera is a whole different element to this process, you know? So yeah, I'm just gonna blend that out with my favorite blending brush, the MAC 224. And I've been loving my microbladed eyebrows, if you guys are wondering, well, my microblading. I recently got a touch up like two weeks ago, a touch up from when I originally got them done. Um, I did vlog about it some when I got them done and I really liked how they look after they were done healing. Um, of course she told me that they were going to look a little bit darker in the beginning and you know during the healing process but after they got you know a little bit more natural I was like I'm obsessed. The girl who does mine her name is Emily she's really good and I love her. She's really sweet. You want to really like the person who's doing your microblading because they're like this close to your face you know so up close and personal so it's good to have somebody that makes you feel comfortable and I'm picky so she just does exactly you know what I want. The second time that I went to get my touch up I got more microblading done than just shading because the first time I got more shading done and I got a little bit of microblading the very first time that I got them done and the second time I went back I got more microblading done in the front so I'm even more obsessed with them now than I was before so and again they're gonna look darker in the beginning um, before they're finished healing. Okay, so the second color I'm going to be taking is called Rich, which is this one right here. It's just a dark brown right underneath brick. And I'm honestly just winging this because I don't remember exactly what I did, but I was just looking at myself and the February favorites. And I'm trying to like, you know, go off of what I'm looking at. So I'm going to do my best. Just going to hope for the best. I'm just going to put this in the outer corner. This brush is a MAC 217 which is my other favorite blending brush. These brushes are life-changing for eyeshadow. Now that I think about it, I don't own any other brushes from MAC besides these two, the 217 and the 224. Kelsey has some face brushes from them, but I don't. I only have these eye brushes, so I will probably eventually try some MAC brushes, like the face brushes, because she has a foundation brush that she likes to use a lot from them so we shall see. I'm just blending this in my outer corner. I'm kind of going like in a V motion and then doing like little baby circles. These colors are just so blendable. I feel like they just make it a lot easier. Um, I just can't stand those eyeshadows that kind of like stick to your eye and it's just harder to blend out. Cause sometimes those eyeshadows, they do last a long time, but you have to work super fast to blend them out before they just stick to your eye and it's almost impossible to blend them out like to make them look more seamless so that's what I love about Morphe eyeshadows and this palette in particular they're just so buttery and you don't need a whole lot like I had to tap my brush a few times because you pick up a lot of product I'm just going back in with that brick color just to bring it back to life disappeared a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and do my brow bone color and I'm gonna go in with Universal which is this color at the top here, if you guys can see that. This is like the perfect, like, universal matte shade, like the name says. This is a really good lid color if you want to do an all matte look, which is typically what I do. Matte is like my favorite go-to type of eye look. Applying this to my brow bone, this is a Morphe G14 brush from their Gunmetal Collection. I do like that there's some purple tones in here as well, like some plummy, burgundy-ish tones at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see the tones at the bottom, like the plummy tone. Maybe it's easier to see in person, but I can see like some purpley, burgundy-ish tones at the bottom. So for the lid color, I do remember what I had exactly on, but I do think I got the colors right so far. I feel confident about it. But I know for a fact, I'm certain that I had this polished color on. This one right here on my lid is called Polished. Yeah, I'm trying to count to make sure I'm looking at the right row. Yeah, this one's called Polished and it's like a really pretty bronzy rose gold shade right here. And I'm just using a e.l.f. brush. There's no name. This is just the silver collection. I don't think that's the name of it. But these brushes are silver, so that's what I'm calling it. And look how nice that went on like kind of I'm not really forcing the color because sometimes wig colors you kind of have to keep pressing it in to get the color to show up like really vibrant and you know the nice shimmery color that everybody wants their shadows to show up as like when you put on a shimmery shade you don't want to have to work extra hard to get it to show up 
This I'm just kind of just packing on the color lightly over my lid area. This color is so, so pretty. Look, they just go on so easy. I'm obsessed with these. I think this is my new current favorite palette. I do notice the shimmery shades, or at least this one, is a lot more pigmented than the Morphe 350 palette. The matte shades in the 350 are super blendable and really pigmented, but I feel like the shimmery shades in this one are, you have to work harder, like I was explaining earlier, like this one is a lot more effortless. You don't have to, you know, put in that much work to get it to go on your eye, like really pretty. So I do like that a lot. And then I'm just gonna go back in with both of those colors, Rich and Brick. I'm just gonna mix them and then go on the outer corner again. Okay, so I am gonna apply some lashes next. These are the Lava Lashes. Um, this is a new brand that I'm trying. These are called Lava Lashes Los Angeles. And I don't really see the name on them, but I think I ordered just two kinds. These are either the fierce ones or the angelic ones. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, I saw these on Instagram and I was like, oh, those look so pretty because I saw like them on like a lot of people on their on their page. And I was like, I'm gonna get a couple pairs of those. So these are, I think, mink lashes. These are their 3D mink collection. So yes, I love the hairy look of these. So I'm gonna apply those. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the face. For right now, I'm gonna go back to the eyes later. And I'm just gonna apply some concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color Deep. I'm just gonna apply that under my eyes. Not too much, I just, I've just been doing like this kind of technique like that. I used to do like a whole V, but this concealer is so full coverage and thick that I don't have to do that. I still do it sometimes with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because it's like really light and thin. But this, you don't, you don't need all that, so uh, dab that. And if you guys are wondering about this bib that I created for myself, I'm wearing a white shirt, so I don't want to get makeup on it. And I do this a lot, like even when I'm just getting ready, like not filming. If I'm wearing a lighter shirt and I already got dressed, then I will get a napkin or a paper towel like this one and kind of fold it into my shirt like a bib. And it's really been working. So that's a tip if you're already dressed and you don't want to ruin, you know, your clothes, your outfit, your shirt, and not get makeup on it because I've done that and I've had to change because I got makeup on it. It's just so annoying. This has been working. Or you can use like a regular towel, like a smaller towel, and like tuck it into your shirt. So yeah. I meant to mention that to you guys before, like when I first got on camera, but I just forgot because y'all probably wondering, what is that? Is she wearing a bib? What is that? So it's a paper towel. the next step is the Laura Mercier loose translucent powder obviously just gonna set that like so I'm gonna bake it but like melt it after because this has been making my makeup last so much longer and I've been getting less oily I also recommend double baking like if you're gonna be somewhere for like a long long period of time even though I still have to blot when I do that I know I look crazy it's the process. I don't have to blot as much when I do this, so. And this really helps with the oil. I don't recommend doing this if you have dry skin. You can just kind of like sweep some powder underneath there to set it really quick, but you don't have to, you know, do all this because it's gonna cling to dry patches. So, just a heads up if you do wanna try this, um, you can just set it like regular if you have dry skin. But if you have oily skin, this really works.
Then I'm going to go in with a regular colored powder, not translucent. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro Matte 16 hour powder and this is in the color Cocoa. So I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. brush, this flat powder brush that I love. This has been my favorite powder brush for years and it's cheap. So this is just like a silver packaging but the black one works the exact same. And I'm actually going to go in under the eye like a little bit more concentrated with the smaller brush with the same powder to make it look a little bit more full coverage. Well, even more full coverage because the foundation, obviously, that I'm wearing is a full coverage foundation. But um, if you don't want it as bright under the eye, sometimes, you know, I just be feeling different sometimes. I want to switch it up. I put more powder under here to get rid of the super, like, lighter look from the concealer. So now we're going to be moving back to the eyes. I'm going to go in with this Anastasia brush, the other side, like this flat side, opposite of the fluffy side. And this comes in all her eyeshadow palettes, if you guys are wondering. I don't even know if this is sold separately. But I'm going to go on with this side and go in with Rich and Brick underneath the lash line, lower lash line. Then we're going to go in with some mascara. I also noticed that I'm looking at my phone now to refer back to the look that I'm not wearing lower like bottom eyeliner, which is only wearing mascara. So that's what I'm going to do. This is the Marc Jacobs. What is this? Noir Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. And this was sent to me in a PR package. I'm obsessed with Marc Jacobs lip glosses. Like that's my favorite product from you know the brand I love their lip gloss and the coconut primer but this mascara is pretty bomb you guys know most high-end mascaras aren't really worth it to me I feel like drugstore works just as good I feel like this one is really good and they sent it with my name on it so I thought that was really cool if you guys can see that it says Kendra right there so when I opened it I was like oh feels so special so I've been using this one a lot because it works not just because my name is on it but it's a really, really good mascara for top and bottom. I've been using it a lot for my top lashes, like when I want to wear like a no makeup kind of makeup look. And it's been working really, really well, so. Okay, last but not least, for the face, we're gonna do a little bronzing. This is the KKW Beauty Contour Powder Kit, Contour and Highlight Powder Kit. I'm sure I said that backwards. Powder Contour and Highlight Kit. I keep getting it wrong. This was also in the February Favorites. So I'm gonna go in just with this bronzer side, not the contour shade, just the bronzer. So I'm gonna just go in with this side of the brush that comes with it, which is the contour and bronzing side. I'm just gonna bronze a little bit. Okay, and I'm also going to use this to highlight. First, I'm going to go in with this more bronzy shade, more bronzy gold shade first. And then on top, I'm going to do a little bit of this rosy color. And then last but not least for the lips, I'm going to use the lip combo that was in the February Favorites as well. I kind of feel like this is a Favorites makeup tutorial as well because... Obviously, the Focus is the Morphe 3502 palette. Um, yeah, this is the Focus, but I feel like all the other products I'm using were in the February favor, so you guys kind of get to see them in action. So, I'm going to go on with Chestnut by MAC to line my lips. liquid lipstick from Anastasia then I'm gonna go in with Americano by Ofra Cosmetics
And last but not least, I'm gonna top that off with Exposed by Kylie Cosmetics, the liquid lipstick, because she also has a gloss in this. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Just had to, you know, brush my hair down, put my hoops on. Now it's finished. Um, let me know if you guys have tried this palette yet, if you're gonna get it, and if you saw it in your local Ulta, because I'm obsessed with the Morphe 3502, and I'm not gonna lie, I like it better than the first one. So that is my opinion on this palette. It is better than the first one, although the first one is still a really good palette. So if you have it, you know, don't, don't throw it away. Still, still good stuff. But this, 3502 palette is just bomb and I can't wait to do more looks with this and you know keep using this palette for for my own personal pleasure you know even when I'm not filming so I will be using this palette more and yeah I love it it gets five stars for me it's bomb thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one uh...